Hi guys, welcome back to Vape Don't Smoke. It's Paul here. I'm joined by Aiden from Little Bro Vapes. How are you, Aiden? I'm absolutely fantastic, brother. How are you? Uh, I'm not too bad, not too bad. Just waiting on that starting so that I can hit mute. Uh, so I've done that now. You should normally do it. It's 8 o'clock, Paul. It's on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, so we are a little bit late because uh, Aiden took forever to get his lights off. Um... But yeah, so this is the interrogation, guys. We haven't done an interrogation for a little while. This is hashtag interrogation number five, I think. I think I've done five now. Might This might be not six. Um, and yeah, Aiden was actually supposed to be number one. Um, but we opted to do his in person at Expo. And then when we got to Expo, we really realised that part of it is the live chat. And obviously in person, that wouldn't be the case. So now we're doing it tonight. Uh, last week was obviously cancelled due to Liverpool being in action. Right. Did really well as well, didn't they? Four nil, uh, three nil down, four nil win. Are we mentioning at all anything about Rangers at the weekend? Um, no, because they, they didn't win nothing. What did they win? They won a game that meant nothing. Moving on. Uh, right, guys, say, I'll say hello to everybody in chat right now, but as always, I won't focus too much on chat until the last 30 minutes where we will turn it over to chat for any questions. If you do have any questions for Aiden, please wait till I ask you for them and then pop them in big, bold capital letters. Guys, the, money, the monetization is actually switched on for this video. All donations made during this live show will be donated to the Cat and Dog Home in Cardonald, Glasgow. So if you want to put a little pound over, that's where it will go. Um, and yeah, just keep ch ch chatting and chat. We will go over to it as much as we can. But in the meantime, are you ready, Aiden? Mate, I can't wait for this. I've been waiting for a long time for this. <laughs> are you ready in chat? Let's see those thumbs up. I've only got four. We've got 20 people watching. Let's get those thumbs up. Are you ready? Are you ready? You gladiators ready? Uh, let's see those thumbs up, guys. Let's see the thumbs up in chat as well. Right, so, Aiden, back in the day, you're a smoker. What made you begin that? What made you start smoking? Well, I was, um, I never actually smoked at school. So I, I, I tried it when I was roughly around about 16 year old. Um, never really liked it, but it was when I went out and had a beer with my mates. I started working at the Woods Food Market in um, uh, Harworth, Burkos. And um, I went out with all the girls because it was just girls who worked in there. And we used to go out, about 17 year old, and we I used to go out with them to the Granby. And we used to have a, they used to have a fag, so I, I used to have a fag as well. And and then I, I really started on cigars and a whiskey. Oh, Late on on a night, cigars and a whiskey. Then it sort of hit me, and I started having a, a, one of my dad's woodbines, you know, what, what he used to roll his own. Um, and that's what made me smoke. So what did you smoke in the end, regular? In the end, I used to like um, embassy filters. Um, because I used to think they was really cool because they're only really small. Can you remember them? No. Embassy filter. So they were about this big. So I always used to think, my mum used to smoke um, Super Kings. You know, the big, long ones. Are about... <laughs> it didn't look very cool, that. But I always used to think when somebody had a, a cigarette, like a little bit far down, it used to look pretty cool when it were in the mouth. So I used to actually smoke Embassy filter. Was that not more expensive, though, smoke? Because they're small. Yeah, it was, yeah. Really, but... When I first started smoking, it wasn't actually that expensive. It was, were... of course. Yeah, I used to get ten, ten, ten ciggies a chocolate bar when I was coming home from school for two, two pounds. Ten ciggies and a boost. That was my regular <laughs> three o'clock thing. I love boost. Three, two pounds, but no, no anymore. Damn. Yeah, I think it was roughly around about one pound ten or something like that for a, a, a ten packet of cigarettes. How much is it now? Oh, I ain't got a clue. I would imagine they're in £10 order packet, aren't they? Yeah, something like that. So how long were you a smoker? Um, all the way up until I was I was a dual user up until, I swear this out, so I started when I was roughly, around, properly started when I was about 18, 19, um, all the way up to about 2006. And the only reason why I swapped over, I went on to a, a Sigalite, which what you could buy from the garage. I was singing, and in um, Wales... They were starting the smoking ban before we did. 
Ooh. So it was just like a cigarette. It, it were black and it glue. Uh, it were blue at the end, and it didn't have like nicotine on it. It used to have like low, medium, high. So I took one of them down to there, and uh, they're all like, "You can't do that in here. You can't smoke in here." I said, "No, it's vaping." Um, and it didn't quite work out for me because it dried my throat out, which wasn't very good. Um, so yeah, but yeah, up until about two thousand six, and then I totally stopped when I had a stroke. About I had a mini stroke. About Jesus, did you? Yeah, mini stroke um, about three years ago. And that's what stopped me totally. My brother, Mark, at that time, we said, look, we, I need to stop it. And I sort of had to change my lifestyle a little bit. I do drink a little bit, as we all know. Um, I did calm that down for a long time, but I, I've, I've sort of gone back on to having a, a good old beer. Um, but yeah, I completely cut Siggy's out completely. And uh, Mark got me into, I went on to last of some of Apes as a, a caster. And then I started reviewing whoa, whoa, in the whoa, 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 whoa. Just answer the questions you're asked, mister. I'll get sorry, you Sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> jumping along. So, the question was, how long did you smoke? <laughs> um, I, I can't quite count it, but I would imagine it was roughly about 15, 16 years. Quite a long Maybe a bit. Right. So, uh, what was the what was your favourite Siggy of the day? It, my, 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 uh, I wasn't a morning Siggy. I was more, I could actually not have a cigarette until about three o'clock in the really? afternoon. Yeah, my, my favorite cigarette was um, after a beer. So I, it never bothered me in the morning. I could have 10 cigarettes in a day and I'd probably have six, sorry, probably have about three or four left by the end of it, unless I was out working, DJing or singing, and then I'd probably do about 20 odd. Uh, probably going back to the garage about one o'clock <laughs> for some more. But um, no, uh, I, I my favourite one was when I had a beer. That's quite interesting, that, because I think everybody that so far that's been on has said their favourite ciggy of the day was the first one. Um, me, personally, it was always after my dinner I preferred my the, the ciggy. Um, and yours was obviously with a beer. Uh, my face is a mess. Um, okay, so... so uh, you're leave, it, leave it till the end. We'll talk about your face. <laughs> so you're a smoker. You've uh, you've had a little taste of a cigarette. It burns your throat. You've you've obviously got a little bit of illness going on. So you decide you need to quit smoking. Did you try patches? Did you try the gum? No, never went anywhere. Now in between it, I went onto the cigarettes. You know the, the where you have the battery and stuff like, with the the cartomizer. Um, it, it never gave me the actual feel that I was having a cigarette. So when I was going out and the battery run out, you'd be back on, on onto the cigarettes. Mm. Um, I yeah, would, the, the batteries work. to a number of people. It, it, that's the way it works. Yeah, the batteries were quite crap um, on those cigarettes. Um, the flavour was terrible as well. Yeah, you weren't uh, getting what you wanted from it. I mean, they remind me a lot of pods. I mean, that's it was basically a pod. People were... Because the, the, the little cigarette had a little capsule of juice in it, and it was draw-activated. I mean, that's yeah. what a pod is today. But, but then you had the cartomizers, didn't you? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, really going back, those ones, yeah. Yeah, but I want about the, the cartomizers that actually sat down. They come down with the little bits of wick that you used to have. I went on to them, and the batteries didn't last very longer, and I had big batteries, and it never actually gave me anything that felt like I was actually getting the same feel um from um a cigarette and that's what he wanted it, it wasn't quite enough puff in it or they wanted quite enough vapor getting into it is is what you wanted so mark your brother is he a youtube reviewer at this time yeah we all know mark mark's uh solo um he he he, he brought me on to, obviously to the the last yeah, yeah. of summer vapes and that's what that, that's what we did um and he, he brought me on and made sure he gave me devices so what was the what was your first proper device, I suppose you could call it? Well, the device I actually bought myself, which I've, um, I think, got it. Your there. brother's a YouTube um, reviewer and you're buying vaping gear. Yeah, I had, I, I bought my own first. I had the uh, PVI, PVI, I think it was PVI 2, um, with the Nautilus, no, it wasn't a Nautilus, it was the uh, Atlantis 2 tank. The we showed it a couple of times on the show. We Atlantis massive, two. massive cloud chucker. Did you ever go for a mouth to lung device? No, Do you just go no, straight went straight onto that. And I remember getting it. I actually bought it from um, 
Who did I buy it from? I don't know if it was Mr. Bold or I bought it from somebody else. It was actually not a clone. It was a, a proper tank. Um, and when I first got it, I choked my guts up. And I phoned Mark up and I went, what am I going to do here? He says, no, you'll be fine. Just keep going with it. And then after a day, I was fine. Um, straight direct to lung. Was and it was fine. Sex MG? Yeah. I actually went 100 as well. 100 VG at one point. Because just down the road, there was... um surprised that wild. Pardon? I'm surprised it went to 100% VG. You did. Um, it's... Um, What's it? Uh, cloud something. Cloud just down the road in Bentley. They had hundred uh, VG and it did. It worked. We're fine. Was that a um, puff, puff wait kind of scenario? Pardon? Was that a puff puff and then wait for twenty minutes for the coil to catch up? Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I went straight after that though. I went and got um, um, a cool fire four with an ice sub tank, and that was beautiful. Um, I, that, I'll tell you what, I've never replicated the flavour that I had for that, which was um, Mako Yatsu Bolt. It was a spearmint flavour. You know I love my spearmint. And I used to be able to fill that up, and I could easily do 30 mils in a day. It would be huge. And that was, I think that was 60, 40. But the flavour, the clouds, everything that I was getting from it, I've never replicated anything that I had from that actual setup. How come? I don't know. I, I, number one, you can't get the uh, Mako Yatsu Bolt nowadays around here. Uh, I, I would imagine if I actually went online, I could get it. Just never have had that. I just remember for like six months of having this great flavour. Just You know when something satisfying you, it's, it's just, it's just a, such a great vape. And I don't know whether the fact is maybe because I became a reviewer and you're constantly getting different juices in and um, you're changing setups all the time. It's like you, you, you quite like your um, crowns, don't you? Yeah, yeah, crown three, crown four. And um, you stay around you r- roughly around your t- tans of jizzy. Yeah, Um I've actually run out. I've only got this little bit left. But, oh, yeah. man. Um, I've got my tangerizzy. I did uh, like it when I tasted it. Tangerizzy, I like my, my taps half. Nearly finished the that as well. Uh, and I've got a few from the Juice Cabin that are really, really good as well. Uh, but it's not about me. It's not about me. This is about <laughs> you. So stop stop doing that. <laughs> uh, so you're obviously into your vaping. Uh, your, your brother's a YouTube reviewer. Um, so what was the what was the journey like to, to get yourself onto YouTube? Were you vaping for a while before you started doing it, or was it almost an instant thing? No, I was... Um... Obviously, like I said before, I started re- actually vaping before a number of people vaped because I actually started doing it, um, the stuff you could buy from a garage, 2006. Um, so I've been vaping for quite a while, but it's been dual using. And I think probably three and a, three and a bit years that I've actually stopped completely. So to get onto YouTube, um, my brother, when I had my mini stroke, I stopped working completely. And Mark was doing a show called Last of the Summer Vapes with Adam uh, GBV, um, Great British Vapes. Um, and that was on the VUNK network. And so they asked me to come on for a show. So I can remember sitting in my front room, I went on the show, and then they asked me to stay. So I was on there till probably the January before I started reviewing. And I said to Mark, do you mind me? I'm actually going to be called Solom's Little Bro. <laughs> Mark, Mark said to me, you can't do that. So I went, right, I'm just going to go as Little Bro Vapes, as my brother, I'm his little bro. So a number of people said, you can't do that. It sounds like kids vaping. Oh. So I, put the, I can understand that. So I put the 18 sign on it and explained everything on my YouTube channel, and that's how I started. So what made you do that? What made you... Well, why, why our YouTube channel? Well, we sat down there with we were talking week in, week out about vaping, and it was just coming up as well when the TPD were coming in, and we it was it, I really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed being on that live cast. I enjoyed the giggles that we had, and you know what the giggles are like. You and me have them all the time it, it, when we're together. We don't half giggle, and it's the same with my brother and, and Adam. It's just a a good old laugh about vaping. Uh, and I, I thought to myself, do you know what? I'd been watching Mark and I've been watching Adam and I've been obviously watching you as well. We want friends then. Um, I've been watching you and and I was like, do you know, I could, I, I fancy having a go at this. And I, it, I, it, I can do better than them. 
Well, no, no, not at all. <laughs> when, I, when I first started, there wasn't everybody in the dogs doing it. Yeah. Nowadays, everybody's a, a, a YouTube reviewer or they're a Facebook reviewer or Instagram or Twitter. There, there was nobody there doing it. And it was like you had to sort of pay your dues. You had to sit down there and start off and do certain ways of things. And uh, nowadays, everybody's doing it. But um, when I first started, it was, you started, you started started off with juice, didn't you? you juice. You did, did juice and you did more juice. And then you did your own, you reviewed your own stuff. I remember re back going back and reviewing all my old stuff. You know, everything on the shelf was getting a review. Um, but, but yeah, but you, they don't do that now. But we're not, uh, we're not, we're, I could go on of, of how you've held me all the way through my channel. You know, I've always done it, mate. You were absolutely fantastic all the way through. I, I, I was sat down at like something at 70 subs, and we'd been talking. The reason why we came friends was because yeah, I watched him before. Um, I was actually a reviewer, and I messaged him about the the Facebook group. I said, "Can I put my um, politely, please? Can I put my um, reviews in your Facebook group?" And he said, "No." He, <laughs> says, he, he says to me, "He's no. he says, this is for mine, but he says I'll help oh. you." And he he showed me where to put stuff and and other bits and bobs. And then we just sort of like got really good mates, kept talking. And when I got stuff sent, I, I remember sending him a great big picture. Um, when I got my first stuff sent, which was um, VU9 range, yeah, which were about, like I said, about two and a half years ago, three years ago. And um, anyway, it, I were about 70 subs. And, and Paul sent back, he says, I've a look on my group. So he put a picture on. He did a big giveaway to get me over my first 100, didn't you? So we did. We got you there as well. We've been quite did, yeah. We never, but we got you. We got you at 100. Um, you did. It was great. You, you kept sending me updates. That's yeah. <laughs> That's me at 80. I'm like, just give it, give it an hour or two. That was the wasn't it? Me over. Wasn't it? Yeah, and you also got me over my 500. You Is got that... yourself over these numbers, mate. No, you got me over my 500. I was, um, I was just peaking. I think I was somewhere like 420. And then in one day, you got me over my 500. Um, and you also helped me get me over my uh, a thousand as well um so yeah I, i've got a big shout out for you for for all your help all the way through and he's always been supportive he's i tell you he's one of the most nicest people in vaping and he's 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 my buddy and i love him to bits he's absolutely great well thank you very much but let's get back to the interrogation <laughs> not going off point this is getting hard you're worse than chris <laughs> i have to keep reeling him back in as well uh, by the way, hi to Chris, Empire Vape Co, um, number three voted store in the UK, which is pretty damn impressive. So uh, I just saw him in chat earlier, guys. Uh, Chris, feel free to post a link to your store in chat uh, and let people get over there. Um, that is absolutely awesome. Uh, and you should be very, very proud. Um, right, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he was just saying that, I've got to say that as well. Yep, yeah, uh, the UK Vape Show helped me to get over my 1,000 as well. And push me up. Big thanks to them as well. Absolutely. Um, right. So YouTube channel then. So you decided to give it a go. You're you're sitting. You're going right. What was your first review? I actually know what your first review was because I'm actually about to give you a little clip of it. So um, I'm going to actually mute you right now, uh, and we will play a little bit from your first ever video. So just uh, I'm going to mute you. I'll probably forget to unmute you. That'll be funny. So let's just uh, mute Aiden so that it doesn't uh, go back to him. Uh, and let's just, uh, what am I doing? Let's, there we go. Let's, uh, where am I? Let's just share my screen and uh, we will have a little look, say, at one of Aiden's first ever videos. And I mean, bang on. Now, what am I going to have this on? Well, I'm going to have this on my Limitless um, RDTA. Uh, I got this for Christmas from uh, my wonderful brother, um, Soul Holmes. Make sure you check out his channel. He does some classic uh, reviews. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to have this on my RX200. Um, I think we're going at uh, 0 to 0.15 pounds. Um, and we're going to start it off. Okay, so let me... <laughs> let's... Uh, how do I unmute you now? Uh, I don't know how to unmute you. 
Can you unmute yourself? Well, this is awkward. There we go. There we go. We sort out. <laughs> Ah, uh, so yeah, so that was one of your, I think that was actually your second video, because I watched your first video earlier on. Um, hopefully the guys in chat saw that. Now, as far as your first video goes, you, you had a very, very similar style to myself, because I mean, we were on a couch, it looked like you were in your living room, and it looked like you were shit scared. Um, <laughs> so how did you feel when you were when you were doing your first video? Well, I, I actually did a video before that, I actually went and got the actual, I used Minova, so... I didn't have the um, the actual editing software to, to be able to do it like that. So at Christmas, uh, I thought, well, I'm going to try this. So what you had to do was you had to post in, in, in their channel and then you had to write a review somewhere else and then you had to do a video just to be able to get this software for free. And I'm still using the same stuff. So it was the first time using it. Yeah, I was uh, quite nervous. I'm, I'm used to being in front of camera and I'm used to being on stage. But, yeah, I was very... Uh, very nervous, not the same as now. I wish you'd have picked some of the older ones with the like the the orange lighting and well that that, that was that was like the second video you did. The other ones were even worse. The ones <laughs> where I stood in the kitchen with like orange side and <laughs> so, uh so obviously you told us a little bit about how you came up with Little Bro Vapes. Um did, so what was the other options you had when it was you were talking about little bro? It was gonna be um Solo's little bro. So long as little anyway, Then I actually thought about um, Big Mouth Reviews. Okay. It's not bad. Um, well, Big Mouth is like sort of like another one I use on um, online and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, Big Mouth Vape Reviews, I think it was going to be. But um, my brother phoned me up. I, I'd got about 80 subs or something like that, and oh, maybe a little bit less. And my brother phoned me up and said, people are not liking your name, Little Bro Vapes. I think it's to do with kids, and I'm like, well, I'm sorry, I've, I've got it now, it's done, <laughs> and that were it. That's it. Yo, 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 rather that. Yo, 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 yeah, that actually came from um, Yo, 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 the people in the dough. They actually used to have a, a bunch of Wakefield lads, they used to have like a YouTube channel, and they used to start off going, Yo, 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 welcome to the dough. And I thought, yeah, I just need a little bit of a click, you know, something that you can start off with, and that's why I started off with that. And then, how do you end your videos? Keep them juices flowing. Keep them that comes juices from my sister-in-law, which is um, Jan, uh, Mark's wife. So we're sat there, I, th I think it was something at Christmas, and we were on about how do you finish your videos, because Mark does that, keep on vaping, happy vaping, whatever it is at the side. And so what, what am I going to do? And, and Jan came up with keep them juices flowing. So that's where it came from. Fair enough. Has anyone stole it? <laughs> no, not like yours. <laughs> uh, so, do you ever think about doing anything different on YouTube? Just vaping reviews. You know, think about. Did you think about doing something different before you did the vaping? No, maybe not before it, but I actually thought after it. I, I've, I've quite fancied doing two things. You know, the abandoned places of turning up and doing them sort of videos where you turn up to a mansion or something like that, and you go in um, and have a little look round. Also. Um, I quite fancy doing where you pick up the funny videos, a little bit like Crystal's, you know, when he, why are you running and all them other little bits? I, I quite fancy picking up funny videos and doing a, a little bit over the top of them. Excellent. And Mr. Mr. Har2K Andy says, wow, Aiden, you've lost weight, Jew. Dude, nice. So obviously you look a lot thinner since that first video. No, it's probably just the camera's a bit better, dude. <laughs> and that leads me to the camera that you actually used in your first video. Um, what was the setup you had when you first started? I had um, a Sang, a, 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 I can't say it, Sang, Samsung, Samsung, Samsung um, laptop. Um, and it was right. the one I used for work. And that's what I used. And absolutely wrecked it with VG. VG wrecks everything. I've wrecked so many camcorders, it's brutal. It broke, honestly, and it caused me a lot of trouble at work because obviously because I'd, I'd paid so much for the laptop, just absolutely ripped it to bits. <laughs> uh, and what do you what do you use now? Camera-wise? Yeah. I've got um, two C920s, one which is sort of like above here, what, what, what made me up and closey, which I've just changed over the last, I'd say, last six weeks. 
so now I'll get a proper up and closey. Before, if you've ever watched my videos, they used to be like sort of actually at the camera. I used to actually do the menu stuff and everything actually at the camera. But I've, I've been able to sort it out, so I've actually got an up and closey camera now, which is a lot better. Computer-wise, I've got an old crappy £50 that I paid for, HP computer, um, which is on its last legs, um, but it's, it's done me so well. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, big thanks to Alex K for his donation. All donations made tonight will be going to the Cat and Dog Home in Cardonald. Uh, so if you do want to send a little 50 pence over to the, the uh, poor animals over at the Cat and Dog Home, um, all donations will be made to them. Thanks uh, so much, Alex. Appreciate big, it. Big thanks to Alex K. Um, right, so you're now a YouTube sensation. Uh, you you walk through Expo like a superstar. Lots of people came over to say hello to you. How does it feel Be a vape famous? Oh, I was I was pretty lucky. Obviously, again, the, the lads from the UK Vape Show, um, I, I've been on there quite a number of times, which they've got big numbers as well, and I'm so lucky to be able to go on there. I was way happy. But you and me walked around there together, and it was fun. This yeah. year, October, um, I think you'd, you'd notice from the October to the May, you was, you was walking around, and everybody knew who you were, but they didn't really know who I was. Um, I still got loads of yo yo yos and bits and bobs, but not as much as you did. But this time around, it was a lot better. Um, it's it's nice, isn't it? You know yourself. You were nervous yourself, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Very very strange feeling when someone comes over and says hello and thanks for what you're doing. But yeah, uh, the, uh, a lot of folk came over to you and yo yo yo, and it's like oh here we go again. You know, we we're trying to walk from A to B, and it took us about two hours because all these people kept coming on saying hello to you. I felt very very jealous. No, you were having the same as I did, but it's just so nice. It's just so nice. We 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 all work to just get it all done and. It's just so nice that these people are there and it makes a total and utter difference, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So you do your YouTube videos. Um, you're obviously getting a little bit of steam, a little bit of speed going. Um, you are you, you do like your live videos, don't you? You're live pretty much every night of the week. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, bro? Oh, I'm just you, well, you're no, I, I'm a popular guy. I'm a little bit of a camo. I, I started off on, obviously, the uh, Last of Summer Vapes, which that, that show still, means so much to me. Is it um, still still going, that show? No, it hasn't. No. Me, me, Adam and Mark sort of like went our own ways. I'm, I'm back on Mark's show. He's doing the home service on a Thursday. But I have my own show on a Wednesday with uh, Mr. Captain Coyley, award-winning Mr. Captain Coyley, and the wonderful Salford Vapor on a Wednesday, 8 o'clock on my channel. Um and then I've got the Stabs, which I totally love. Um, with Nick from Daily Vape TV, we've got um, Jay, uh, Live Vapes and Chill. Yeah, Mr. Coyley. Got the we've got one. I'm you got know, and also Mike Mex. So the, the, the Sav show is absolutely fantastic on a Sunday, and I really enjoy it on a Wednesday. And also chilling out with my bro on a Thursday. Um, I wasn't supposed to be on Mark's show, to be honest with you. It was just I come as a guest, and I've sort of stayed a little bit. So where, where can people find your show then? Is that a Wednesday night, which is a Three Men and a Vape show. You can find that on my channel, which is Little Bro Vapes on YouTube. Right. The link to Aiden's show is in the description, guys. So if you do want to check it out, do check that out as well. So that's our Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Yeah, we meet Mr. Coyley and the wonderful Sulphur Vapor. Bit of a giggle. We have guests on and, and, and bits and bobs. So, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Come and please check us out. But, yeah, yeah I, I do go around a couple of shows and... And whore it about as a is a I, I go on the UK vape show quite often and um, yeah it's hard to go on that isn't it? Well, you, mate, you've got to suck right dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lucky because I obviously I went on the UK um, the the VUNK network and obviously these people are casting already and I was so lucky to all of them are good mates they're good mates to you obviously we we had a good beer with all of them didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Chris, Mark, and myself drank basically drank that bottle of whiskey. It was quite. Um, yeah, it was. It was quite the night. But the and Dino's an absolute corking bloke. Um, he, he might be next. next. He might be on next. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. That'll be a corking show. A lot better than me. He, he'd be absolutely because he's, he's still, got, I still got an hour to go. <laughs> he's he's got such a, a dry sense of humour. He's so funny. 
Right, so before all that fun stuff started, uh, you were a bit of a, 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 a singer, is that right? Yeah, 20 years from being 16 uh, up until over 20 years, really. Over 20 years? Professional. Yeah, professional singer. Professional. So what did, what did, in a band or did you do like karaoke oh, or? We started off, no, no, we started off, um, I sang at school. Um, and then I were in like productions and stuff like that. And then when I, I we got about 16, I went into a band called Raw. Um, and I, I was obviously a young lad. Um, sat with them for about two or three years. And then I went into the Gents, well, the new Gents. The Gents were a big band around here. And I stayed with them all the way until about 2000, uh, 2002. And then we had Cruise Control. So I've traveled all over Europe, up and down the country. That used to be like five days a week. Um, I've sang in some, in front of some big audiences, and uh, yeah, I've done pretty well. And then we stopped in 2012, and we op we did our own company, which is a, a Madman Entertainment, where we put um, DJs and acts in different venues, and and I DJ now, which is a bit different, which is a lot better than uh, traveling up and down the country all the time. Um. Are we having some technical difficulties? No, we're not. Sorry. It's just I think it was just me. My bad. Uh, so, yeah, so you were a singer. So what kind of music was it? Uh, a lot of... Uh, what we did of, uh, when I first started was a lot of soul. I sound a little bit um, like um, Andrew Strong out of the commitments. <laughs> I don't know who that is. It really try a little tenderness. Um, how about you give us a little bit of a song? Well, I'll tell you what, don't worry about that because my brother actually has found an old recording of it. Um, so we, we it'll be out in the next couple of days. So I'm actually going to put it, but you want me to sing? Well, I'm sure the guys in chat would love to hear you sing a little song, guys in chat. Would you like to see it here, Aiden? Maybe sing a little couple of minutes or a few seconds. <laughs> You're not going that long, <laughs> a few seconds. You don't uh, get the normal interrogation, do you? You don't. You sit down there and ask uh, Victor Wick his own kelpie. Well, I've not had a singer on the the channel before, what so did what did you um, call Vic's kelpie? The Kelsey. The Kelsey. Yeah, the Kelsey. The whole show. Uh, but well, uh, those really like chat are interested in seeing this. Uh, give us a big thumbs up if you want to hear. In uh, give us a little song for a few seconds. We're going to go for Leon. Right, next question. <laughs> How about some Queen? How about some Bohemian Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> what? That sounds like some sort of juice. It is the juice. That that was the joke. <laughs> I've got it sitting right in front of me. It's Bohemian Raspberry. But yeah, let's give us some Bohemian Raspberry. <laughs> Mate, it's just easy come, easy go. Go for it. What? <sighs> Swing! <clears throat> Baby, here I am on the man on the scene. I can give you what you want, but you gotta come home with me. I can give you some good old love, but I got some going stall. I can place your rap for free, so place your app with me. I forgot the ten by the dozen. That ain't nothing but drugstore money. Hey, Bruthin, let me light your candle, cuz but I'm sure how to have nice I am. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> I've had a beer as well, dude. I've had a beer. <laughs> that was excellent. That was it. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. So now you do DJing. What? Why did you stop singing? Um, kids. We obviously we, we we we've got three children. Absolutely wonderful children. And also my wife got cancer, which was um, an absolute nightmare in my life. Um, I'm so lucky, touch wood, to still have my wonderful wife. Now, a lot of people may not know I suffer from bipolar, so my life's up and down all the time, and she's always looked after me. Um, and I'm so lucky to have you. I love you, Lowe's Lou. Um, so we went through such, such a bad, bad time. Um, I had three children at home while she was having chemotherapy. Um, and it was like, um, full week. Then she'd have like a bit of the week off. Then she had to go again and have it. And it lost all the hair. We didn't know whether we were to keep her or not. Um, so yeah, we, we were really, really lucky to have her. So we, we stopped that and we went DJing and I, I found a, um, I was doing it just like, as you normally do it, cook pubs and clubs and stuff and then i went to the urban in doncaster which were a big family to me all of them looked after me and i worked there for a number of years and uh, then i went on just to, to weddings which is so easy weddings and um i would say bermitzvahs then for some reason i don't know why i'm gonna say bermitzvahs um but 
christenings and stuff like that. So I've got like so many venues that I, I r- sort of run on their entertainments wise. So I only work maybe two days a week, so which I'm pretty lucky at. So your your wife's one hundred percent rocking and rolling now. Then yeah, yeah. She still has um, a lot of problems. She has lymphedemia because obviously she had lymph glands out, so like her arm swells up, and she also had bits where she's just obviously fatigued. Um, as soon as you have chemotherapy, anything like that, anybody out there who knows anybody who's had chemotherapy knows the the sort of stuff that uh, uh, um, immune system and things like that. She catches stuff and yeah, right, okay. Um, well, I'm, hopefully, hopefully she's with us for a oh, while. No, yeah, she's rocking and rolling. She's rocking and rolling. Good. That's excellent. So DJing a wedding must be quite fun. Yeah, I, I can only imagine that would be quite quite a good 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 laugh. Well, you um, know what I'm like. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, back to your YouTube channel then. Um, obviously, you've been doing your, your live shows. You've got about, what, 1,800 subs? I noticed that you got over the 1,800, which was great. Nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, so we're rocking and rolling all the way to two thousand subs soon, soon, soon. Uh what can I what can I review? Should the guys expect from you this week? Have we got something coming this up? Week we've got um I, I'm actually gonna do a couple of juice reviews, but I think the first one that's coming out this week that I'm doing tomorrow, I've done the up and closes. I was gonna do the um Glas R D S A, but my brother brought that out just before me, so I'm not gonna like over over stamp him on that one. But we um I've got the is it the VX200 from Orgs Vape and also the dual tank with that? We're doing that one first. And then we have got the um, the iMix from E-Leaf. Absolutely fantastic. That is quite nice, actually. It is, yeah, really nice bit of kit. And then we've also got the rim. The iStick rim's coming out as well. And um, I'll I, I tell you what turned up as well today was the um, I, I haven't I've been able to have a little look at it. it was the aromarized what you've got oh the light I thought it wasn't yeah. coming till June that's what it said but it just turned up today just turned up I've got two of these so uh, I've got that to be able to do plus a couple of pods I'm actually on the one that you've just got your review out on the Hexa Alexa which I love it me it's not shit it's not shit it's actually pretty good the draw is excellent. Um, I got two more pods that through the door this morning. I don't even know what they were. Just the only bit I don't like about it from the other one is there's that little tiny bit of a lip between the bottom of the actual weight fits there. Is that not so you can get it off? Yeah, but he never had that on the other one. It was oh. just a full pod. You could just pull it off anyway. Um, and I also I've also just got through today one of your favourites as well. Stan, yes, yeah, it's it's <laughs> so I can't wait to open it up and, and fill it with juice and then lob it at my wife. <laughs> away. Will, you, will you be able to answer the question? Well, not yours actually does that. Speaking of mail, did you get anything from me today? No, oh, really? No, if it had been here, I would have done it already. The the wonderful chicken tikka juice, chicken tikka muscle. Um, <laughs> hey, I, I watched that, that was just so funny. I've never heard you boke before. No, it's it was it was so unexpected. Um, I think that's what made it so bad because it was um, just so bad. <laughs> it was like I didn't expect it to be like burnt rice, but you'll get to enjoy it because you're doing it soon. You did it again. Sorry, you did it twice. Well, you have to have two vapes. Um, <laughs> is that is that the standard? That's the minimum. Well, you need to vape it till the wicks dry. Is really the the main <laughs> game, but I couldn't. Um, it was even when I was cleaning it out, I was hitting the boat with the smell of the wick. Uh, it was really, really bad. Um, so what's how about the you any fancy stabilized wood stuff coming up for review? Um, yes, I have. Yeah, uh, we, we both got this as well, which is the um Ultrona, the Pixie. The only trouble with it, I think the show, if you opened yours yet, no, I want to know if you should have. I think you should have a different mouth mouthpiece that. If it's over the top, it's about what? wiggly, isn't it? But I tell you what, it's not about drawing it. I didn't say it on well done, age. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's quite nice, really, really nice. It looks nice, though, that doesn't it? It does look nice. You're the only person to ever be given something as a gift and then asked to change the color. 
<laughs> well, we went over, didn't we? What did you actually get the blue one? No, mine's is green. I went for the green one. Yeah, that's probably why I copied you. Um, you they actually Mark, Mark and all the other ones got the that that sort of like bluey color one, didn't they? Yeah. All uh, right. So YouTube, are you a big YouTube fan? Do you watch other channels apart from your own? Yeah, I um, I watch quite a number of people. Uh, obviously, being connected with it all, you do watch other people's reviews. Uh, apart from yourself, um, <laughs> I watch yours. I watch yours. Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, I watch uh, obviously my brothers. Um, I've got a thing for Cart Vapor. I watch him a little bit. I just I quite like watching him. Um, who else do I watch? Uh, I watch Pud Puff's vlog from Expo. Pud Puff is a, such a nice kid. You went to bed early, didn't you, on the Saturday? I went to bed at one thirty a.m. It's not early. Yeah, well, it's early for us, but we sat down there and we had a raggle giggle. Um, he's a lovely bloke. First time I've met him. Obviously, he's a new reviewer, so please get over and check him out. Um, lovely bloke. So what's your favourite YouTube vaping channel then? Um, I don't think I've actually got one, if I'm honest with you. I, I like watching a lot of people. It's, it all depends what it's about. I like watching... Dean, Devil Vapor. Um, obviously, I watch you, my brother. Um, I love watching Chris. I, I, I watch the the What's Up as well with Vic. Um, what, about your, bits and, what about your most hated reviewer? <laughs> I'm not really into it. Do you know what? The thing is, it's like you. I'm not into the drama. I could tell you my most hated reviewer, especially at the minute, but I'm not going to do that. It's, it's oh, yeah, hold on a minute. I asked you specifically if there's anything you don't want me to ask. And yeah, you well, said, well, no, I, and I, you I, said I, I'll answer anything I, you I, ask. I, I'll, I'll, what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll plead the, is it the fifth? Uh, yeah. I, and the interrogation is over, folks. Uh, <laughs> so thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, Aiden has refused to play ball. Um, therefore, <laughs> this is cut. Right, fair enough, right? Disappointed, I must say. All right, then we'll go from the Dudley Vapor. I don't know who that is, but yeah, sorry, it's finished, so we get away with that. <laughs> uh, so who, what about are they outside of vaping? What kind of YouTube channels do you watch? I love the um, the bailiffs one. You know where people go to people's houses and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Brian is it Box Stuff or whatever his name is, or Ryan Box Stuff. He he does all the stuff where he he. he like holds them all up. I love the 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 bailiff stuff, where people turn up to their houses and they can't get the stuff out because they go, "I've revoked your rights to be here." And I like that. And I also like abandoned places, um, you know, like where people just turn up and the the wreck of a mansion and it used to be Jackie Chan's or it used to be, and now yeah. it's a horror house or it used to be a horror house and now it's. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Excellent, excellent. Also, uh, please welcome me. Uh, Get over and check Chills. Have you ever watched Chills? No, I, I've not. He does a ghost sort of stuff, which he every Thursday he um, releases a video about like ghost sort of stories, which is good. Okay. Uh, guys, welcome to Stevie. Delegaff Porter who's entered the chat. Uh, Stevie was actually kind enough to give me one of his stands um, at Expo. And I, I got a lot of stuff at Expo, guys, but this was really, really nice. It was one of the nicest thing I got, just for the fact that he made it for me. Uh, and he actually took it to the Glasgow School of Vape, and then I no showed, and he actually then brought it to Birmingham and gave it to me. So a big massive thanks to Stevie. Um, it will be featured a lot on all my pictures and things like that that I take. So uh, Stevie Dilligaff Porter, what what's the the? Yeah, we've got his Facebook page, but um, Steve Dilligaff in there exactly. You'll be able to click on him, get over to his Facebook page. He is one of the nicest blokes you'll ever meet. I've had a, a couple of beers with that man. He is um, a lovely, lovely bloke. Yeah, he was jumping about with his gimbal, wasn't he? I think we're the only ones that didn't have a bloody gimbal, or even Steve had one. But yeah, uh, big massive thanks. I do love it. And it's things like this that, that make things worthwhile. You know, when someone makes something specifically for you just out of sheer kindness. So a big massive thanks. Very, very humble, very, very touched. Um, so Dalligaff Atty stands on Facebook, folks, if you want to check out not just that one, 
He actually makes really big, fancy, super duper ones. Yeah, it's uh, like the steampunk stuff. Steampunk stuff, Star yeah. Trek, Resident Evil, all that stuff. So do he check him out. Small vagina on it as well. Did you see that one? I didn't know. <laughs> no, he, he did one for the um, UK vape show with a, a small vagina on the top. Right, anyway, back to our <laughs> delegation. Um, we are running, running super duper late on this one. I've got so many more things to ask you. Uh, should, do you ever see yourself doing anything different on YouTube other than vape reviews? Um, yeah, like I said, um, obviously you've got a new channel. Um, which, <laughs> if you haven't actually gone over, make sure you go over to his. Um, what's it? McCart- McCartney talking shit. Or? McCartney's nonsense. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I just I don't have time to do it. It's I mean, yeah. a stupid thing to do. But he reviews kebabs and <laughs> and, and, and drink and stuff. It is actually quite funny. I quite like it. Um, but yeah, I'm actually thinking about um, doing a, like I said, with the comedy videos and then yeah. doing, you know, the same sort of way as I do my, my um, reviews on the um, vape stuff, like interchanging it. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe getting into that. I was asked to do a little bit of a, a, a radio, um, what's it called? Like a, oh, what would you say? You know, when you, you have to do it and then give it to them, like a, an audition. Right. So we did that last week, and we're just waiting now to to uh, Lincolnshire Radio. So um, they asked me to do that. So I'm, I've I've just done a um, an actual audition for them, and see how that comes off. But yeah, radio afternoon radio. It's internet radio. Fantastic. So um, what was I going to say there? I've actually lost lost what I was going to say. Yeah. So reviewers obviously are dominating the vaping scene right now. Um, we've got um. Vaping Chronicles with about six different devices. Matt Suck My Mods, got about four or five tanks. Mike Vapes is filling the market up. We've got Vic doing it now. TVP's done it. Have you got ideas for your own RDA, RTA, stock coil tank, anything at all? You, you, would you consider it? If you did consider it, what would it be? Um, No. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not really I'm not big enough and I also haven't got the technical know-how to do it um, maybe a stock coil t- tank sort of I'll maybe have a look at but no I, I would I, obviously I've spoke to you I, I'd like to do a juice I'd like to have a yo-yo-yo juice um sort of line if I got a little bit bigger but no I'm, I'm not I'm not in that that category of, of you and all the other big ones um it doesn't matter I'm not not about channel size, there's there's some people out there that get tanks out there that I've got a really. You the tank. armadillo, the armadillo from Dim. He um he's only got like one thousand two hundred subs, and he he did the armadillo with Umie. Um, have you? Th- yeah, well, exactly. So if you were going to do something, what would it be? I think I'd, I see. I'm all, we used to call them tank wankers. I, I was always a um a tank wanker. Um, I always like the stock coil tanks, and especially now the um, the mesh coils have come in. I think they're quite on point now yeah. with um, what, what you can actually do with with your own coils. So yeah, maybe something that way on if I did do it, but I don't think I would do. But you wanted the juice, so yeah, I believe yeah. you're, we are. You are talking to Les over at the juice cabin to see if he can maybe do you that almost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the yo 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 juice. That's what yo 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 juice. Uh, so guys, stay tuned for that. Hopefully that is coming soon. Right, so if you're stuck in a lift, Mr. Crew, uh, you're stuck in a lift, who would you want with you? You can have anybody alive, dead, famous, unfamous? Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Okay, and who would you not want there? Um, Donald Trump. <laughs> Everybody says Donald Trump. I don't Do you know, know why. why? Because I couldn't be coping with combing his hair. <laughs> Uh, what mod, mod would you take with you? Um, I would probably go with the RX 200S because, do you know what? It's just such a, um, a batteries last for ages. It's an old mod, and it, it, it can get battered. That thing can get, be dropped forever, and it will still work. And what RDA would you take? RDA, the Wasp Nano. The Wasp Nano, the spitting machine. What yeah. about a tank? If you wick it properly and you actually put the coils properly it doesn't spit and <laughs> are you giving me wicking advice well no not really but i'm just saying that i use it for all my juice reviews and obviously i must know how to wick it so uh <laughs> what what tank would you have with you um tank favorite would be the zephyrus three 
And what's your, what's your favourite ever product that you've reviewed? Um, favourite product that I've ever reviewed? Mako Yatso Bolt. It's a juice. And that you can't get it anymore. Can't get it over in England for some reason. It comes from California. It was the most beautiful juice. <laughs> and what's the worst product you've ever reviewed? Um, I can say it now because it's been over so many years. VU9's tobacco range. It's tasted like... Um, Wet ashtrays, you know, when you used to left, leave cigarettes outside. That was, was that the pound uh, juice? Uh, the pound it juice? Pound juice, no, it was actually probably about 3 99 for for 30 mils or something. But. Unacceptable, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about your favourites, Aiden, then. So I'm just going to say off a whole bunch of different stuff. Just tell me what your favourite is. You ready for this? Yeah. So your favourite food? Um, Kebab. Bevy. Vodka. <laughs> music um indie your band beautiful south favorite song um uh, oh favorite song is probably stand by me stand by me that's all i know uh what's your favorite steak t-bone your favorite chocolate bar boost what'd you get from a chippy um chippy special which is like chips fish sausage and some gravy three pound ninety <laughs> it's a lot of food what's your favorite <laughs> i'm a lot of boy <laughs> what's your favorite chinese oh w w what a full meal yeah, yeah 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 um we'd have a big spring roll then we'd have salt and pepper chicken spare ribs and then some um beef and something what's it beef and onions that lou likes and then we have um beef fried rice wow lovely uh your favorite ending uh um was it chicken what's the one we have coconut chicken tikka masala. is it korma it's the one we out we oh out the chicken coconut. tikka chasney something like that we out we out the coconut i don't like coconut favorite crisps um, it used to be prone a cocktail, but now I'm getting old and I'm 40. I like plain <laughs> <laughs> walkers or McCoy's. Or yeah, I used to like Smith's crisps, Smith's. you know, one of the ones with the packets in that used to have the salt in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna be Smith's crisps. So, you don't, I, I don't put that in there anymore, but I've turned it into my dad. I used to like prone a cocktail. Uh, your favorite movie, Stand By Me, favorite TV show, um, Red Dwarf, favorite Rocky film. Uh, number one. Favourite Godfather? Two. Favourite football player? Um, Kenny Dalglish. Oh, King Kenny. Celtic legend. Favourite pastime? Uh, snooker. Favourite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Uh, Donatello. Favourite Son of Anarchy? Ain't got a clue. Favourite Game of Thrones character? That bird who always gets done from behind. <laughs> <laughs> your favourite colour uh, red best swear word fuck you car um, I used to have a Saab 9000 P pizza topping pepperoni thing about reviewing um, the bit of getting people off the stinkies and also the fun favourite thing about expo you Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, we have got a bro man's going on. Don't we? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it was, <That's> right. <laughs> it was the, when, I, when I post all those pictures. I'm like, we, do that? <laughs> we had such a giggle, bro. Uh, your favorite type of coil? Um, juggernaut, juggernaut, favorite box mod. I think we've covered that one. Uh, what's your favorite cloud chucker? Um, I've had actually quite a number of them over the years, but I'll tell you what, the new one that's just around is I love the Steam Crave RTA. That done off lob some clouds up. The glass too. Uh, what would you recommend to a starter, a new vapor, a smoker? Um, it would be a Nautilus 2, or Nautilus if you could actually get hold of a, the, the first Nautilus, a Nautilus 2 and um, a, um, a Cool Fire 4. Cool Fire 4, if you can get that. Uh, Favourite vaping manufacturer? 
Um, who's been good to me, or just like all all over? In general, who's your who's your best product? Who who do you like the best? Joytech. Joytech. Favorite favorite vaping accessory. Coily. Coily. Absolutely. Uh, mine too. Uh, your favorite US reviewer. Mike Vapes. And your favorite UK reviewer. Solo. Uh, right, so we're going to do the worst now. So we're going to pick some of these at random and say, you tell me your worst. Same rules. Your worst music. Uh, death metal. Death metal. What's your your worst thing from a chippy? Um, pickled eggs. Your most hated football player. Eric Cantona. <laughs> the worst thing you can put on a pizza. Um, anchovies. The worst thing about reviewing. The time it takes. The worst thing about Expo. Leaflets. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, and what's the worst thing you can recommend to a new vapor? <laughs> good job I didn't say what I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> Anal, but no. <laughs> I don't know why it just popped to me. Head. The worst thing, um, direct to lung straight away. Excellent. Okay, so this next one is going to be your witch. So I'm just going to name off a whole bunch of stuff. You tell me which you prefer the best. Uh, you have seen the show before, so this should not come as any surprise. Uh, here we go. Witch, Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi. Liverpool or Everton? Liverpool. Burger King or McDonald's? McDonald's. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Celtic or Rangers? Celtic. Joshua or Fury? Fury. Boxing or MMA? Boxing. Geek Vape or Watofo? Watofo. Stock Coil or an RTA? Stock Coil. RTA or an RDA? RTA. RTA. RTA, a mech or a regulated mod? Regulated, it's a bomb. <laughs> Big Mac or a Whopper? Which one's it? No, you like Whoppers. Big Mac, innit? Is that your wife? She likes the Whopper, yeah. don't you? <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she likes a Whopper, but she don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dirty bastard. All uh, right. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I bet she does. Um, Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Jack Daniels or Jim Beam? Jim Beam. Beer or lager? Lager. Uh, red wine or white wine? Um, rose. Fair enough. Tea or coffee? Coffee black. Okay. So, well done. That was the lightning round, I suppose you could call that. Uh, so what was the first computer console you ever had as a kid? Spectrum 48K without without the tape deck, and then I got the tape deck a bit later on. With, so how did you play it without the tape deck? Because it, um, you, you had actually an inbuilt game, and then we got, the, we got the tape deck to it, and then we used to play things like the, um, what was it called, the Miner or something like that it was. Um and then Jasper Prune, me and Mark found it as well. Then I had a, a Spectrum Plus 3. Okay. Um, never a Commodore. And then went straight to the Amiga. Very good. And what do you play now? Um, I, I play PC, but I only play um, Civilization. That's about it that I play nowadays. Uh, apart from FIFA. I love my FIFA. FIFA, do you play that on the PC? Uh, no, I play it on the PS4 with my wonderful son. Excellent, excellent. Um, there's a game called Days Gone, you really should try it, very good. Is it? Yeah, maybe not for your boy though. Depends, how old is he? Uh, nine. Oh, it'd be fine, it'd be fine. Uh, right, so what did you want to be when you grew up? Manic Miner, that was it. Yeah, Manic Miner. Uh, what do you want, a footballer, but Football. then also a wrestler. Or a wrestler. I wanted to be a um I wanted to be a footballer or a goalkeeper. I played for uh, Mansfield Town at junior level and Colliery as well. So I was a pretty good goalkeeper for a long time. Um and then obviously it didn't work out. So 
I, I did want to be a wrestler. And I also now want to be a wrestler's manager. <laughs> do that. You know, a little bit, you know, like uh, Undertaker's. And what was your favourite subject at school? History. What was the worst subject at school? RE. Oh, all right, right enough. I did like uh, RE, though, because you used to be, if you just sort of like spoke to him for a long time, you used to didn't do any work. <laughs> so who made Easter eggs? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, <laughs> this is the anyone famous section. Uh, so I just have to find it in my list. Uh, so if you could be anyone famous, this doesn't have to be a real person. So it could be James Bond. It could be Muhammad Ali, if it, that's a real person, obviously. But real real or not real, anybody at all, fictional, whatever you like. I could be them. You could be them, yeah. And Robin so, Williams, I think he's the most funniest man in the planet. Who? Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Uh, right, okay. And who? anyone famous you would love to fight? Um, Diane Abbott. Anyone you'd like to go on a date with? Um, Kelly LeBrock. Anyone you would like to just slap across the face? <laughs> fucking hundreds. Um, <laughs> what? What? Like celebrity wise? Um, anyone famous? Anyone famous? Oh, I want to pick a good one here because there's loads in there. Really, you'd love to just give a right good old wallop round the chops. Hmm. All right, well, Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, and anyone famous you would invite to Christmas dinner? Um, famous. What, what? Who's alive or dead or anything? Doesn't matter. Anybody at all? No. <laughs> um, Winston Churchill. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, right, so vaping drama. Ooh, what a subject this is. Um, I've had it. Everybody's had it. But you don't seem to have had it. What's your secret? Why do you seem to avoid vaping drama? <laughs> um, I just don't get involved in it. Um, I, I am pretty lucky. So any trolls who want to come and get me, come and get me. Um, no, I don't, I don't really get that, that, that many trolls. Um, I, I don't also think I've ever heard a bad word about you. To be honest with you, I have to be really, really good because my brother is so, so squeaky clean and I would never do anything to upset my brother. Um, so I keep my mouth shut quite a lot because I, you know me, I am quite outspoken, but I, I do keep my mouth stum because I don't want to upset anybody towards my brother who who's done this a long time more than me and I respect him more than any drama that, that would ever be here. And we just stay away from it. Okay, okay, so good guy, bad, sorry, good guy, wank, prick section. Um, usual, same rules apply. I'm just going to find my list of names here. Uh, I'm just going to read them out and you just right off the bat, no thinking, just tell me what you think of these people. It has to be good guy, wank or prick and that's the old Scottish way. Okay. Stephen Gerrard. Star. Alex Ferguson. Prick. Anthony Joshua. Prick. Theresa May. Prick. Jeremy Corbyn. Prick. Gary Neville. Prick. <laughs> Vaping with Vic. <laughs> <laughs> no, star. Yeah, I love him to this. Really Postman. Star. Harry Kane. Prick. Andy Murray. Prick. Gareth Southgate. Prick. Lennox no, no, he's all right. Yeah, I didn't like him as a footballer, but I like him as a manager. Now he's all right. Lennox Lewis. Star. Frank Bruno. Star. David Beckham. Prick. Elton John. He likes pricks, but he's a star. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Mercury. <laughs> star. Hugh Grant. Prick. Robbie Williams. Star. Prince Harry. Prick. Daniel Radcliffe. Prick. Daniel Craig. Oh, I've got the wrong one. James Bond. Oh, no. Harry Potter's, he's lovely. The one who's actually... No, the, the Harry Potter one, he's, he's quite all right. He might, he's all right. But the the um, James Bond, he's all right as well. Gordon Ramsay. Star. Simon Cowell. Prick. 
Mick Jagger, prick. Donald Trump, prick. Conor McGregor, like him. Neil Lennon, prick. Robert Carlyle, who's oh, the star Liverpool fan. Alex McLeish. Um, I've never had a problem with him, but obviously he's he's all right. Sean Connery. Oh, star, mate, star. <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent. Um, so your channel's what eighteen hundred now, eighteen hundred subscribers. Yeah. Um, what what's we all have our own private benchmarks, um, where we can sit back and say, "Fuck it, I'm a YouTube reviewer. I've been successful." Um, I know I kind of wanted to get to one sub. I, I kind of aimed low. And um, when my mum subscribed to me, I was super happy, and I thought that that was, that was me made it. Um, what, what's your magic number? Have you surpassed it? What what are you aim? Mean, you no, know, there's no magic number because at the end of every video, I say you get me to that new magic number. Um, no, nothing. Mine's just to try and get people off the stinkies. Um, that's the whole job of it. All, all of us reviewers are here to get people off the stinkies, and that's what we're here for. And we have a laugh along the way. We that's, do that's the whole thing. We certainly do, and so you you know if you so you you're just quite happy with where whatever happens happens then. So there's no yeah. You know me. I do look at, I do look at my subs like everybody else does. Who is a YouTube reviewer? Whether they don't, whether they say it, whether they don't, they do. It's nice if you get a few more. Thank you very much for everybody who subscribes. Um, I'm pretty lucky with what I've got. I was lucky how I got started. Um. No, like I said, not only did you help me, my brother helped me, um, the UK Vape Show, every, uh, Vic, everybody helped me. To I was lucky, you know, when you first ever started to have these people to back you. So I'm very lucky to be in the position that I am. Um, I haven't got a million of videos out, and um, I'm very lucky to be how I am. So uh, thank you very much to everybody who does subscribe to me and do follow me. Okay, excellent. Um, now, when I reviewed the Kelpie, it took me 25 minutes. You did it in nine. Explain yourself, Aiden. Well, obviously, you're a little bit different because you you um, you do a little bit of talking at the front, and then <laughs> you do you do a bit where you you do your your open closes and stuff, and and then you talk afterwards. <laughs> Are you saying I talk too much? No, not at all. Um, <laughs> in fact, in the Kelpie, you didn't drop anything. I didn't. I've actually not dropped anything for some months now. I, don't, I believe. But but I fasten things up, and then like over overimpose them, where you 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 just like do your first bit, and then you do your up and close, and then you do your last bit. I think yours are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've got to say that I, I do, guys. If you haven't checked out Aiden's reviews recently, I do check them out. Um, he's got a new style. It's it's. I mean, if subs mean anything, you should have ten times the amount of subs with the style and quality of your videos. Um, I don't believe subs matter, but the 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 way you do your videos is top quality, and the, the way you did the Kelpie put a lot of us to shame. Um, so you know, well done on that. And guys, if you haven't checked out, do check it out. It's such a good video, and it's so well done. Uh, it must have took a long time. Mate, just thank you so much for, for, for all your, your support. It just really means a lot. Thank you. And also, Stress K, thank you very much as well. He sent me a message. He, he went and got the uh, the uh, Vapemon, which you want as well, don't you? You want the Vapemon. What is it? That mod with the, the rechargeable battery? Yeah, we charge it up on the plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wanted one. All right, so this is the section, if you had to, which would it be? Uh, big massive thanks to one of my subscribers for giving me this first question. I do apologise, you never actually gave me your name, so I can't give you a shout out. But I'm sure if you're watching, you will know who it was, because it is the absolute stupidest, craziest question I've ever had. Uh, so I'm not taking credit for it. Aiden, you were standing right beside me when he told me to ask you this question, so I'm going to ask you... If you had to, which one would it be? If you had to, out of the four UK vape show hosts, which one would you have sex with? Uh, Dean. <laughs> you might think about it. Yeah, I, I, I think I actually, I remember the bloke going up asking you, and, and the reason why I didn't have sex with Dean first, I love TVP and I love all the other lads, but Dean would be able to have that after sex talk. <laughs> You knew you were going to get something a little bit more. Apart from TVP, you just go to sleep. TVP would probably go home. Chris wants something to eat because he's always eating. 
Vic would just well, Vic, he'd be, he'd be wicked his kelpie. <laughs> but Dino, I think, I think Dino, the Devil Vapor, would be uh, an after talker. He'd cuddle me, and he would actually talk nicely to me. Okay, so if, you to, well. if you had to, which one would it be? So, would you rather swim with sharks or brush a tiger's teeth? <laughs> 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 um, you probably won't survive either. So no, no I'd, I'd probably the, the shark shit me really. I, I don't think I'd try and. Can you imagine if you're trying to lift his lips up to try and get underneath to brush it? You're, you're at already. At least if you're swimming with sharks, you've got a chance to whack him on the nose or poke his eye out. <laughs> Uh, guys, if you have got any questions for Aiden, do please start to give us them now. We are starting to get to that time. Please put them in capital letters in the chat, and I will ask them all. Please make sure they're not naughty, because if they're naughty, I won't ask them. Um, would you rather crash a plane or sink a boat? Sink a boat, because I can swim, but I can't fucking fly. Um, eat a jobby or drink someone's pee? So I, I'd say that eat somebody's poo or have or eat, I'd drink somebody's wee. Uh, run from a dinosaur or run from a lion? Say that again. Run from a dinosaur or run from a lion? Dinosaur, because they're not real. <laughs> That's stupid. If it's chasing you, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> but how many dinosaurs have you seen in the wild? A couple. I used to, yeah, you've not seen what I used to drink when I was younger. <laughs> That's book fast for you. Would you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would, oh, you rather, would, 2020. <laughs> would you rather give birth or get kicked in the bollocks? Um, I've seen both. Um, <laughs> um, I'd probably want to get kicked in. No, I won't know. Give birth, sod it. It's a lot easier, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> it never goes back. It never goes back. <laughs> uh, fight Mike Tyson or would you rather fight Money Mayweather? Um Mayweather, because Tyson would have, especially you know about he's in in his prime. In his prime, it would be over in seconds. It would just brutal. It would it would put you in a coma. He'd, he'd, he'd eat Mer Mayweather. So would you rather go to jail for a week or go and watch Love Island? I'd watch Love Island. I don't fancy jail. Watch Coronation Street or watch EastEnders. Uh, Coronation Street. Ride a bike with no seat or give Pat Butcher a snog? I'd snog Pat Butcher. <laughs> Rather go hunting for deer or hunting for little cute rabbits? Rabbits? Fair enough. <laughs> uh, have you actually ate deer? No. Well, I think I had venison. That's deer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you quite a number of bits of uh, rabbit stew in your life as well, being Scot Scottish. I got a rabbit curry once, um, and it was dead fatty and chewy. It wasn't very nice. Oh, they're not cooked it right. Um, no, what? Well, well, I don't know if it was just it was I don't, just kind of shit. But you have to set the balls out first. Uh, well, I never knew that, but I assume the chef knew that. Um, what's the What's the future for Little Bro Vapes? <laughs> I don't know. We just keep rocking and rolling like we all do. Um, just keep keep the channel going, keep getting them reviews out, um, and keep trying to grow. And that's the biggest thing. Keep trying to grow. All right, guys, if anybody's got a question for Aiden, please do pop it in chat. I'm just about running out of questions myself. Um, uh, let's see. I, I'll ask this question because, obviously, for this, this one's for TVP. So, Titanic... Um, do you think it's an awesome movie or is it a big love story for the woman? It's a, a love story. Uh, did you actually watch the, the, the reason why it sank and stuff like that? Did you watch the documentary on it? I watched the movie. It sank because it got hit by an iceberg, is it not? Uh, yeah, it's not necessarily that, that way on either way you're looking at it. It was actually, a uh, uh, fire was actually burning in the, the cold stores before it set off. And they set off without, they thought they could put it out and they couldn't. Okay, so let's go to chat. Remember, guys, ask questions. Do you know what I'm really good at? There's no wrestling questions. Oh, do you want some wrestling questions? Yeah, I thought we'd at least have had a couple of wrestling questions. Well, who's your favourite wrestler growing up? 
Growing up, I first started off, I loved Hulk Hogan. But my favourite of all time has got to be The Undertaker. Did you hear The Undertaker's coming back to wrestle Goldberg in a couple of weeks' time? I just think it would be a terrible match, just the same as it was with Cena. He's, he's, he's not been able to do it anymore. I think if you're going to... it's they've, they've, they've missed so many matches over the years that you could have actually done with him. We always talk about the, the Sting and the... Um, the 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 Undertaker, um, but it should have been done a long time ago. Yeah, Old Warrior was one of my favourites. Um, you can't beat the fact that when he used to run in and and going on to can't beat that as a kid. And what's your favourite? I, I actually think the WWE is absolutely terrible at the minute. I don't think it's got no it's got no stars. It's got no fun to it. It's boring. Boring, exactly. That's exactly what it is. I don't even watch it anymore. I only watch the pay-per-views and very rarely do I even do that. I watch WrestleMania because that's an annual tradition for me and my mate. Yeah, me too. Um, what's your favourite ever wrestling match? Um, it's got to be The Undertaker against Mankind when he threw him off the top of the um, cage. Hell in a Cell. King of the Ring. King of the Ring, 1998. Hell in a Cell. Mate, just, just watching him. For, and not only that he'd gone through, the, he went off the top. He then went through it as well, didn't he, at the bottom? Yeah. And they always talk about how great he took that fall. Yeah. But he wasn't even supposed to do that second one. That The, the cage just collapsed. Um, I'd say he my favourite's... Wrestler. My, my favourite's probably Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 12, 65 minutes. I, think, I don't think there's a wrestling move that wasn't used in that match. Obviously, you, if you go back a little bit earlier, which I didn't watch him until later on, because I used to get, I never had Sky Television in, in, in the 89, um, 90s or 88. So we used to have one lad who you, in the village who had uh, um, Sky. So he used to record all the main event stuff for me. And I used to watch, every weekend I used to go there and get, right, I want it Saturday night. Um, but on cassette. Put in. Yeah, VHS. VHS. Yeah, VHS. And uh, it used to be fantastic. You couldn't wait to get it. Uh, there's been some great matches over the years, but I just feel that, you know, now the, the Monday Night Wars were over and there's a lot of them now. There's nothing. There's no nothing behind it all. What's no. your favourite sci-fi stuff? What do you what do you like as a sci-fi? Well, it's your, your delegation, not mine. <laughs> Dynamite Kid. Dynamite Kid, I was just going to mention him. Absolute fantastic wrestler. If, if you haven't watched, uh, there's a new bloke out called Wrestling Bios, I think it is, on YouTube. Get over and watch him. He's on loads from the Boss Man all the way through to uh, Ken Shamrock, Mr. Perfect. Um, absolutely fantastic. If you're into wrestling, go and watch it. Absolutely brilliant. Did you see yeah. Jack Swagger? Do you remember Jack Swagger? Yeah, he's into MMA now. Isn't yeah, he? He won his second fight on Saturday and he refused to let go of the choke. Did he? Yeah, apparently the guy apparently the guy had said a few things to him leading up to the fight. So he refused to let go of the choke. But the when he when he the ref he said that the referee he felt the referee's hand was actually the guy's hand, he never knew. But uh yeah, let's not uh let's not believe that. Uh yeah. Gordon Glenn, welcome to the chat. He's asking, will you be getting pissed? When Liverpool beat Spurs, you'll never walk alone. Um, Gordon Glenn, you know that, brother. You never walk alone. I will be having a good, cheeky little bit of a beer. Um, I've actually booked it off of work on the 1st of June because last time I was actually working, I made them put it on the television. So I've got it booked off. I'm going to watch it with Louise, my wonderful wife, who has sort of got into football for some reason. Um, so Daniel, who's a massive Liverpool fan, will all be sat around as a family. family watching that and also my old man will be coming um daddy o he'll be coming down and watch he's a man U fan by the way and uh, he'll be coming down yeah my dad's a man U fan yeah my dad's a rangers fan is he yeah uh jason carathers is asking if you could delete any uk reviewers channel who would it be and why um it's about yeah. hard it's, it's, it's a little bit hard to like because it, obviously you sat down there causing drama, which I don't really do. But um, <laughs> we'll move on. Who's who? No, whose channel would you delete? You could delete Vex just for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, 
that. T tell him you've done it though. You know, make I, it. I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a WhatsApp spank. He'd get it back. He'd get it back. No, he'd um, probably appreciate the time off. To be honest. Yeah, he'd probably. Yeah, the the man put some some right reviews out. Um, there's nobody really. At, we, to be honest with you, we are actually quite a nappy family when it all works out. So, yeah. Uh, let's have a look. So, vaping with CJ has asking who would win in a fight between the Undertaker or the Rock. I'm assuming he means a real fight. Um, if you meant a real fight where the Undertaker was like the Undertaker and the Rock was the Rock uh, in the prime, Undertaker would absolutely drop him. If it happened tomorrow, the Rock would probably win, considering oh, the yeah, yeah. sat down there wobbling around with a hip. <laughs> He's got no hip, has he? Stuart, the bastard that's to blame for the fucking tikka masala, is asking, when you try that tikka liquid, will you be having a naan bread and a cobra beer? I will do. I'm going to do it absolutely live, the same as uh, Paul did it, and then it's going over to my brother, so I can't wait for that. Um, I will be doing it. As soon as it comes, I will do it live, whether it's the afternoon, night time, whatever. I will be doing it live. Uh, Vape Scotsman, welcome to the chat. He's saying Va Undertaker back in the day, nowadays The Rock. Well, that's pretty much what we said, so that, that's good. That's good. Um, Shane Foster says, Kane was my favourite. I'm assuming they don't watch wrestling anymore. They wouldn't still, they'd still be my favourite. Uh, guys, if you get any questions for Aiden, we are running out of time. We've only got about seven minutes left of the 90. Uh, if you do have any questions, do pop it in bold capital letters. Uh, so you're going to Expo in October, Ed? We don't know what we're doing. We, both of us were talking about this. We don't know whether we're going or whether we don't. It's obviously doubled in price at the Premier Inn, as you've seen yourself. Um, yeah, it's shocking. Yeah. That is very, very expensive. For well, we Birmingham, might... you know, it's you're not you're not going to Mallorca here. It's yeah, it's Birmingham, and it's you know you're not even in the city centre. It's yeah, your, night, your night is standing outside at a table. I have you. thought about maybe maybe going down just for the um our biscuit vapes in. Nice to see you, bro. We were having a beer with him earlier. Um he's coffee. asking what your favorite female wrestler is. Um female wrestler. It's gotta be Paige. A bit kinky as well, Paige. Um old female wrestler would be probably oh who's um not Elizabeth, the other one. Sherry. Sherry. She were a good uh, wrestler in the day. Midnight Sun's asking, asking, when was the last time you had a cigarette? Um, Before you came on. About three years ago. About three three years. years. Three years, yep. Jason Carathers is asking, what would you say is the best new innovation in vaping? Um... I would go for the Enervap, um, which is the the pod system. It is a pod system. Um, just have a little look at the pods if you can see them. What that basically is is that you can actually dial the nicotine in. So if you had like you could have um, an 80 milligram nicotine on one side and a zero nick in the other, then dial it in yourself, or you could have like a, a, a three in one. Or you could have an 18 in the other. And then if you wanted a little bit more, you could have it. Also, you could actually mix your flavours. So you could have a three of um, mango and then three of banana and mix it in yourself. So I think that itself is the best innovation just so lately. We both met him, didn't we? Yeah, I'm actually quite a fan of this. Um, as far as innovation goes, this is a little bottle opener that opens up your e-liquid bottles. Uh, it's not perfect, but I thought it was a pretty good idea, pretty good start. It'll cost about three or four pounds. I bought mine off a Just Add Nick, and it's the Alpha 3 bottle opener. Um, first, and yeah, pretty handy. The coil. Get, get a coil, that's what you need to go and get. Have you got enough of them? Yeah, I've got loads, actually. He, he sent me a pink one with my actual name on it. I want a better one than the pink one. Um, but yeah, I've got loads. Innovation, you see, when we were at the award ceremony, the Preco tank took, you know, the throwaway bull Preco tank, that took the, the best innovation. Do you think that's right? The the Pico? Yeah, the um, 
the pre this is the jewel, but the throwawayable tank. Oh, of course, right. Yeah, I mean that is innovation. I mean it's it's not much. Nah, that's that's a lot more techy. There's a lot more going into that. You can use your phone and all that nonsense as well, can't you? It's it's actually quite easy to work as well. Um, my we Webley Family Vlogs is asking this question twice. I did ignore it because it was stupid, but I will ask it anyway. He's asking, is the Earth flat? <laughs> it's, it's the air actually flat. What we believe, what we breathe. Earth. The Earth flat. No, not all. It's round, obviously. Um, Ross Vegas Seven is not asking a question. He's just giving us a little bit of a compliment, which is always nice. You two are the nicest, most genuine, funny of blokes and vaping. Thanks for all the videos, hard work and laughs, boys. Keep up the good work. Uh, thank you very much, Ross. It does. Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. Means a lot. People like that obviously means a lot. I'm so lucky. I get loads of it. Honestly, I really do. And it, it's just so lucky that you have people who spend this. The time just to go back to you and say thank you very much for that video. Um, thank you for all you do, it's just amazing. I'm Mr. Really Mr. Har 2K Andy says he knows it's not flat. Have you seen the hills around Doncaster? <laughs> or depends what hills you're going to. If it's weekly hills, you're in trouble. Um, we're almost at, running out of time, guys. If you get any other questions, do pop them in the chat now. I know you're about 30 seconds behind me, so we're just going to have a little vape and wait and see if someone comes in with a last-minute question because we are entering the last 90 seconds. Ooh. <laughs> just want to say, though, to everybody who's watching, thank you so much for, um, for joining us. Mate, I so wanted to come on this. You know I did. I know. Uh, thank you very much. I you on, and it was, it's a shame because you were supposed to be first, and then I thought, we'll do it together. That would be better. And then obviously you missed the chat because it'd have to be pre-recorded, which would be a little bit shit. So we ended up not doing it. Um, yeah, I'm just so chuffed. I'll, I'll message you new at, at what about Opus Five? <laughs> it was about so it it must have been earlier than that. Yeah. So thanks so much for having me on. And thank you very much for all the support everybody gives me. It means it means a lot. Uh, he says, Stress AK says these two should do live shows every week. I was actually thinking that we should do a UK vape show Mark II, and it would be yourself, myself, vape it with Les in the Scots Review. It'd be nice. Uh, the four yeah. of us. Big shout out to Hip Hop Juice. Big thank you, brother. Jason Carthers has asked a question. Um, if you could thank your brother for one thing he has done for you, what would it be? Solo. Um, well, I'll tell you, I'll just be my brother, to be honest with you. We, we've gone through, um, obviously, my mum's passed away and stuff like that. We, 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 we're we always stuck together all our life. So my brother means everything to me, and he's such a fantastic bloke. Um, and that's why he's a great reviewer as well. Make sure you go over to Solo. Um, my brother's my brother, and he's absolutely fantastic, and I love him so, so much. He's an amazing bloke. Gavin Giant's asking, can I put your link to your channel up please uh gavin the link is in the description of the video um so you just have to copy and paste that i can't actually have clickable links but the link to aiden's channel is in the description of this video vaping I, with I, I click, click my um just click me what do you call it and it it's a uh... click your name so aiden's just commented hi so if you just click on his name that should take you to his channel vaping with cj is asking what can a summer rebuild is liver Liverpool needing done. Um, I think they need to pick up a, a creative midfielder. I also think they need a striker, and I think they also need something at the back. Lovren's not good. Um, I think he needs to be going. He'd probably go to Celtic, um, and then. <laughs> I wish. Um, yeah, but yeah, Matip is done all right, but I think they need. I think Gomez is going to be really, really good. Um, I think that's going to be the 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 the, the four, which will be Robertson. Van Dyke, um, Gomez, and also um, Alexander. Uh, but uh, I think they could do just another person there. I think they need a creative midfielder. I don't think Milner's going to stay this year. Do you? I, I don't know. Uh, is is he not a bit old now? Th Thirty three, but he puts in more effort than a lot of them do. You've only got so many stoppers in there. Um. Looks like Gavin Giant has just subbed to your channel, which is great. At least you got yeah, one. I really do appreciate it. 
Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that'll we'll wrap up there, guys. A big, massive, massive thanks to everybody in chat. Um, Hip Hop Juice is saying, Aiden, don't snitch. I'm not sure what he means by that. Maybe you do. I know what he means. Yeah, good, good. Good, good, good. Uh, guys, massive thanks to Aiden for coming on. Um, I, I'm really loving the support that I'm getting for the interrogation shows. Uh, a lot of you seem to be enjoying them. Um, uh, and I enjoy doing them. I enjoy having you guys on, having you talk all your nonsense and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the questions are stupid. They are silly. That's the whole point. It's supposed to give you an idea of what these guys are like behind the scenes, behind the camera. We're all just normal guys. Uh, so a big massive thanks to everybody for watching. Big massive thanks to Aiden for joining in. Just like to say thank you very much to everybody in chat. Thank you very much. And make sure you keep supporting Paul. He's one of the most nicest people in vaping. He's one of my best mates. I love him to bits. And, mate, I've so enjoyed this. Thank you so much for having me on. Not at all. Not at all. Absolutely. Anytime. Anytime. We might do something live on Saturday. You never know, eh? <laughs> I'll be looking forward to your chicken tikka review, that's for sure. Uh, guys, thank you very much. Whatever you do, take care. As always, stay safe. And whatever you do, vape, don't yep. smoke. Oh.